Good morning. Quarterly numbers, global events and of course the RBI's annual policy meet today will keep the Indian markets on the tenterhooks. The spotlight will be on the banks as RBI is all set to raise rates to tame inflation. The central bank's commentary will have a bearing on the sentiments. But the fact that the markets have already discounted the rate hikes and the key indices have come off the two-year highs could lead to a bounce back. The Goldman Sachs shock appears to have eased down a little bit. The focus will be on Wall Street's Titans results later today. Citigroup shares rallied after posting strong earnings. But IBM shares are down despite stellar set of numbers. The IT space will be in focus back home today after TCS came out with better than expected quarter 4 results. Liquidity is a key variable and one needs to keep a watch on fund flows. We expect a flat to a slightly positive start as investor sentiments across the globe have turned better on hopes of better earnings declaration. Overall, things will be volatile with a possibility of a higher finish. US stocks rose late on Monday as investors reassessed the potential damage of the fraud case against Goldman Sachs and earnings optimism grew. The Asian markets are also trading in the green. The other news for the day is, Jeshri Tea and Industries is close to acquiring tea estates in Uganda and Wanda. This overseas acquisition is expected to lift production from 23.5 million kgs to nearly 29 million kgs in 2010-2011. Coal India is expected to seal deals worth 1.8 billion US dollars with foreign firms in the next two months for mining coal abroad. Sri Renuka Sugars has been insisting for at least 8% more equity in the Brazilian firm Equipau. The government would rake in a minimum of over 240 billion rupees from the auction of third generation spectrum on the eighth day as the pan india license reached a bid of rupees 60.7 billion up by about 73 percent from the base price of 35 billion rupees government has managed to add over rupees 60 96.5 billion in 2009-2010 as non-tax revenue from the oil exploration companies the sugar production in Uttar Pradesh for 2009-2010 crushing season is likely to fall short of 5.2 million tons as earlier projected. Credit growth surpassed RBI's projection of 16% in financial year 2010, mainly on account of public sector banks reporting robust growth in lending. A key committee of parliament has said that the proposed Financial Stability and Development Council should be constituted at the earliest to address the inter-regulatory issues in the financial sector, creating pressure on the government to make the council some sort of a super-regulator. Moving on to the recommendations, the derivative strategies are Long Larsen & Tubro Limited April Future at Rs 1557 for a target price of Rs 1580 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs 1545 and Long Hindalco April Future at Rs 178 for a target price of Rs 184 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs 175. The technical calls are a buy on Allahabad Bank. High-risk traders are recommended to buy the stock at current market price of Rs 159 and up to declines of Rs 157 with support at Rs 153 for a target price of Rs 169. And Siemens sell. Traders are recommended to sell the stock at Rs 710 for a target price of Rs 682 and to maintain a stop loss at Rs 622. Thank you and have a great day ahead.